China, the world's most populous country, feeds nearly one fifth of the world's population. With less than nine percent of global arable land, how does China supply its 1.4 billion people with safe, nutritious food? To better ensure the well-being of its people, China's policymakers are eyeing a technology-empowered future for its agriculture. China's western region of Xinjiang is one of the world's largest producers and exporters of tomato paste. In the tomato fields in Huodong Village, 52-year-old Wu Xingsheng is widely respected for his farming skills. The village's yield of tomatoes has been boosted in recent years thanks to automatic drip irrigation. Drip irrigation reduces water consumption and is a boom for the region, which has an arid climate. Now, the system has gone digital. Wu can easily control the drip irrigation lines on his 20 hectares of farmland with his phone. Some of the smart facilities are supported by solar power, which is more environmentally friendly. As well as its tomato industry, general farming in Xinjiang has been mechanized to a great extent. Official figures show that by the end of 2020, machines had been used in the production of an average of 85% of crops, including plowing, plantation and harvesting. In the plateau region of Tibet, vegetables were once hard to come by. Before Tibet's liberation 70 years ago, vegetables were only available to a select few. Only a handful of vegetables were cultivated in Lhasa and Shikaza. Over the past decades, China's central authorities have made vegetable supplies an important task to improve people's lives in Tibet. Significant changes started to occur in the late 1990s when officials from Shandong province brought advanced vegetable plantation techniques when they were aiding development in the county of Bainang. <laughs> In the years that followed, with government funding and the help of SciTech experts, the region's vegetable yield went from barren to prosperous. <laughs> Along China's eastern coastline, fishing has long been a booming industry. In the lakeside city of Huzhou, residents have been breeding fish in mulberry fish ponds for thousands of years. 
，伊从边上呢种桑树，桑树的桑叶呢喂蚕，蚕宝宝分贝呢喂鱼，鱼的鱼的分贝呢，到时候成天的河泥当中呢，到冬天呢把河泥捞起来就，用到桑树上去做培土，所以形成一一个循环系统。Now in the 21st century, the fish ponds are getting smart thanks to solar technology. In these solar-powered ponds, solar panels can supply electricity needed to maintain the ponds. Solar aerators improve water quality and provide a healthy environment for fish. Sensors and cameras installed around the area can monitor the water quality, which allows remote management from a smartphone app. We completely use the ocean space area. 在鱼塘上方装设太阳能光伏板，水上发电，水下养鱼，发出的电能供给周边鱼塘以及居民生产生活用电，实现了空间资源的高效运用，形成了新农业生产生态。These solar-powered fish ponds increase production and farmers' incomes while reducing emissions at the same time. In China's vast rural regions, many more agricultural technologies are being applied. From drones protecting crops to 5G-supported driverless vehicles that further improve efficiency and reliability, digital innovations run through the entire agricultural value chain, enabling farmers to be more productive, risk-resilient, and environmentally sustainable. China's agritech initiatives not only contribute to bumper harvests year after year. That also constitute part of the nation's bigger drive toward achieving rural vitalization.